brought to you by Helene Curtis, makers of Stop F deodorants, flowing cream, spray, and stick, suave hairdressing, and shampoo plus egg. Now let's all play What's My Line? Now let's meet our award-winning What's My Line panel. First, the delightful star of stage and television, Miss Arlene Francis. And now the brilliant and bearded star of the Broadway hit Romanoff and Juliet, the authored himself, Mr. Peter Ustinov. And now, a regular lady atop a very distinguished column, Miss Dorothy Kilgallen. And on my left, uh, the man who compiled a delicious book called Reading for Pleasure, which is climbing the bestseller list, Mr. Bennett Sir. Now, here's a man who gives us such wonderful explanations every week, if, of course, we could only understand what he's talking about. <laughs> Mr. John Charles Daly. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to What's My Line. We have some high hopes that we can give the panel a little bit of trouble tonight. Some interesting occupations and some nice people who brought them here. We'll also have a famous mystery guest, before the panel a little bit later in the show, and we'll meet our first challenger in just one minute. Panel, let's meet our first contestant. Will you come in and sign in, please? Ninon Naturel, is that right? <laughs> Is it Miss or Mrs. Naturel? Miss. Miss. And where are you from, Miss Naturel? Uh, Paris, France. Paris, France. Well, how nice to have you with us. Miss Naturel, the panel. Panel, Miss Naturel. And now if you'll come over here with me. Uh, I wonder, coming all the way from Paris, if you're familiar with the way we keep score, are you? Oh. Yeah. Every time you can give the panel a no answer to a question, we flip a card. When we flip ten cards, you have won the game. You like that? I like that. All right. I like that, too. That's fine. In that event, let's let the folks at home and those who've joined us here in the theater know exactly what your line is. <laughs> All right, panel. Miss Naturel is self-employed. And with that, let's begin the uh, general questioning with Arlene Francis. Mademoiselle Naturel. Uh, do you deal in services? Yes. Are your services for both men and women? Yes. Uh, do you need any particular training for what you do? Yes. Do you need uh, a degree for what you do? No. Not the ninth degree. No. <laughs> One out of nine to go, Mr. Ustana. Um, does it help uh, your job to be French? <laughs> <laughs> Peter, I think the answer to the question must be no. It, it is a job that can be performed irrespective of nationality if you happen to have had the kind of training and the, um, shall we say, talent for it. Miss Kilgallen. Uh, would you suspect that anyone on this panel might have availed themselves, himself, herself, of uh, the type of, of uh, work that you do? Uh, I understand it. Uh, actually, Dorothy, do you mean directly in terms of requesting specifically the services that Miss Naturel may perform as... Um... Well, I didn't mean Miss Naturel at all. I meant somebody doing what she does, if anyone else in the world does what she does. Is it possible that any one of us might have availed ourselves of that service? Mm. Yeah. 
Well, I would say here that we don't want to mislead you. You could have enjoyed the services without necessarily personally having engaged them. Does that answer your question? No, but is that a yes or a no? Well, it's a <laughs> qualified yes. Go ahead. Right. Do you move about, and by that I mean do you move even as much as an inch one way or the other when you work? Oh, yes, I move. You are not desk-bound, Miss Potts? Desk-bound, Miss Potts. Do you use your hands in your work? What you mean? Yes, you have, you, do you use your hands as you work? Oh, yes, yes, of course I do. <coughs> I didn't understand. Do you make any sound? Uh, I don't. No, no sound. That's three down and seven to go, Mr. Sir. Miss Naturel, the uh, fashion industry is a very great one in Paris. Uh, do you have anything whatever to do with the world of fashion? No. No. Four down and six to go, Miss Francis. <laughs> Is there anything creative in what you do, Miss Naturel? No. Five down and five to go, Mr. Ustinov. Uh, is this, uh, although you're self-employed, uh, is this something you think out yourself, or do you follow a general... Uh, no, how should I phrase that? Uh, do you think out what you're doing yourself, or do you act on instructions? That's what I... But it's the first one I'd like the answer to. <laughs> well, Peter, I would say that there may be a general area of instruction which um, is the root base of the technique which might finally be used by Miss Naturel, but to the degree that it is a personal performance, it is thought out by Miss Naturel herself. I see. But uh, it, am I right? <laughs> Uh, am I right in assuming that Miss Naturel doesn't perform this service alone, but with other people? Do you perform this service alone or with other... Uh, alone. Alone. Therefore, you would have a no answer to your question because you said... Uh, Hélas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. That <laughs> makes it six down and four to go. Miss Kilgallen. Miss Naturel, do you work indoors? Uh, well, I work indoors and sometimes... Sometimes. sometimes you yes. can do what you do outdoors, too. Uh... Do you work with any tools or implements? Well, yes. Uh, are they in your hands when you're using them? Uh, well, not only Small conference, hands. please. <laughs> Have it in French. <laughs> <laughs> Naturally. <laughs> okay. Yes. Uh, does it come in contact, or do these tools come in contact with things rather than people? Should I say things and animals rather than people? <laughs> no, Dorothy. That's seven down and three to go, Mr. Sir. Miss Naturel, does your work have anything whatever to do with the uh, sphere of food or drink? <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't think no. we can call it. No. Eight down and two to go, Miss Francis. Is, are people watching you do what you do? Yes. Are they entertained by what you do? Yes. Do they pay you directly for what you do? Not directly. No. You mean the people who watch, do they pay her directly? No. That's nine down and one to go. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to put it that way. <laughs> Sorry, Arlene. You, you fix it up, Peter. I thought at first that she was probably a vineyard diviner walking around with her, because <laughs> it can be done out of doors. But is it anything, um, would I be right in assuming that it is advertising anything at all? Advertising some? No, I'm afraid not, Peter. Oh, That's ten down and no more to go, and Miss Naturel is a fire eater. <laughs> John, trouble looming up on the horizon. Yes, John, sir. I asked if this had anything to do with food or drink, and for Mademoiselle Naturel, this is food, is it not? <laughs> if she eats fire, she cooks her tongue. The last time, <laughs> <laughs> it has no protein value, no carbohydrate, no nothing. Oh, if you're going to go on that ground, I... <laughs> <laughs> but Bennett, this is what'll tickle you. This is Miss Naturel's license from the City of New York Fire Department. It says, open flame, one metallic container, one pint alcohol. 
used for act on stage in conjunction with role of fire eater. <laughs> that, um, well, Miss Natural, thank you very much. You were an interesting guest, and there's your license back again. Thank and will you say good night for the panel? Let's try challenger number two. Will you come in and sign in, please? Graham. Graham Hall, right there? Where are you from, Mr. Hall? Bulawayo in Central Africa. Bulawayo in Central Africa. Central Africa. I know the country. I'm from Johannesburg myself and used to go up there. Oh. All right, Mr. Hall, the panel. Mr. Panel, Mr. Hall, will you come over here and join me? Coming all the way from Bulawayo, do you know how we keep score? Yes, I do. All right, fine. Let's let folks at home and those here in the theater know exactly what your line is. Mr. Hall is also self-employed, and let's begin the general questioning with Bennett Sir. Mr. Hall, have you got anything to do with people who might come over to Central Africa either to see the wonders of Central Africa or to hunt some of the animals that roam there? No. One down and nine to go, Miss Francis. Do you work out of doors, Mr. Hall? Yes. Do you yourself personally have anything to do with animal life? Yes. Uh, are you a white hunter of any kind? Not of any kind. I guess a white hunter. What's a white hunter after, Peter? <laughs> what, a white yes. elephant. A white elephant. Yes, thanks a lot. <laughs> no. <laughs> do you hunt wild game of some kind? Yes. Uh... Well, where am I? He's a actually, wild game hunter. <laughs> actually, Arlene, only because there is so much game in Africa, we're going to ask you to identify specifically the game he goes after. I think you're quite right. Uh, does your game have uh, uh, markings on its back of any kind? No. No? Uh, small conference. How plain. <laughs> Does after he gets finished with him. <laughs> because a tiger or a leopard. Yeah. Uh, maybe it is an old Arlene, I'm afraid that you may subsequently choose to take issue about this. Oh, but you don't mean, John. <laughs> I won't. Because markings do have, in some term or another, a specific designation with respect to animal life, we will not consider in this instance. Uh, certainly on uh, Mr. Hall's authority that these are to be called markings. So that makes it two down and eight to go, Mr. Ustinov. Am I right in assuming that he only um, tracks down one species of animal? He's a specialist in some kind of animal. Yes. Yes. Um, I have a feeling that this is not the kind of animal we think it is. Jolly good. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, is it an animal which is um, uh, seen uh, in, in herds or droves? No. Three down and seven to go, Miss Kilgallen. I was right. That no doesn't help me a bit, Peter. <laughs> uh, is this an animal which has uh, some property or some part of it which is saleable um, other than just its hide or for trophy purposes? No. Did you say other than just its hide for trophy purposes? Mm -hmm. No. Well, wait a minute. Other than just its hide for trophy purposes. I mean, it's not just something you put on a wall for right. laughs. In that context, uh, it is not an animal that is just reserved to that particular result. So that it has, you go there's ahead. something else you can do with it. That's right. Has it four legs? Yes. <laughs> Well, you can't be too sure. Oh, Dorothy, I'm with you. Uh, <laughs> is it ever found in an American zoo? Yes. Does it have fur rather than a hide? I mean, fur that a lady might wear. No. No. Four down and six to go, Mr. Sir. Is this animal, Mr. Hall, bigger than a domestic pig? 
Yes. Is it bigger than a domestic horse? <laughs> we have all kinds of horses. We have ponies. So. <laughs> Bennett, I think, considering the most of the horses I know, we'll give you a no answer on that one. Five down and five to go, Miss Francis. Smaller than a horse. Smaller uh, than a big horse, anyway. Smaller than a big horse. <laughs> uh, hide. Does a boa have a hide? Yes. A wild boar. Doesn't that have to be There's been no call for a conference. No, I'm sorry, but darling, there are so few animals with a hide and no hair. I'd... <laughs> uh, what's I have is a it, couple of bald friends. <laughs> is it a man-eating animal? What did he say? <laughs> you have some hair, John. Is that what you... This, I do have a bit. <laughs> is it a man-eating animal? Both woman and man-eating. <laughs> What I like is an impartial wild animal. <laughs> um, let me just see now. There are rhinoceri and boars and. Does it have a big head? <laughs> well. It may be so described, I think, as it's a substantial head, let's put it that way. <laughs> is it an animal we've heard? <laughs> yes. All right, we may just as well go ahead. Teeth, does it have... <laughs> um, it can't be the cat family. They've There'll all got no, hair. There's been no call for a conference, please. Is it... Is it a wild boar? No. I am not. No. <laughs> Six down and four to go. I'm going to give you one more minute. Mr. Ustinov. I don't, I, let me just recap. Is one allowed to do that? Oh, sure. yes, of course. Is a baby elephant smaller than a large horse? <laughs> <laughs> well, that doesn't eat her. Is it a depends. member of, it, it, has, it has hair. No. No. It has no that's, hide. That's, hide. It has hide. It has hide. Uh, is it um, uh, rather difficult to shoot because it's thick? You mean as far as its intelligence goes or its hide? <laughs> As, as far as its armor plating is concerned. Is it difficult to shoot because it's thick? No. Has it got natural defenses, I mean? Uh, oh, we all do. <laughs> the mine are right down at the moment. I think we have to give you a no on that. Mr. Hall is the expert here. It's not got an unnecessarily thick hide or natural defense. Miss Kilgallen, do you want to try uh, Is it, uh, does it move on the land, chiefly? No. No, oh, that's oh, it. I'm going to throw oh, the towel in. I think oh, no, in time you would have gotten it. Is it some member of the baboon or monkey family? <laughs> no, no, actually, Mr. Hall is a crocodile hunter. Oh, I just said... And Mr. Hall actually goes out and catches these. He's in this country because he's in the reptile jungle in Slidell, Louisiana, teaching the crocodiles he caught to behave, I reckon. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Hall. Uh, nice to have had you with us and what's my life. <laughs> we'll meet tonight's mystery guest in just a Now we come to the special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery celebrity, for which I must ask my friends on the panel to blindfold themselves. The reasons why we ask them to blindfold themselves are reasonably obvious. And are the blindfolds now all in place? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Will our mystery challenger come in and sign in, please? <laughs> all right, panel, as you know, in the case of our mystery challenger, we go to a different form of questioning. You ask one question at a time in turn. Ah, uh, moving clockwise, and let's begin it all with Mr. Ustinov. Uh, are you in the entertainment industry? Oh, I'd say so, Docs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Gilgallum? 
do you weigh more than 135 pounds? Oh, I wouldn't say so. The blimmin' clever you are, aren't you? But that's one down and nine to go, Mr. Sir. No, that was a no, no answer, though. No. Uh, do your talents include, have, have they ever been displayed on the motion picture screen? I wouldn't like to say so once in a while. Thank I'm you. okay, I guess. Yes, they have been. That, that it, Miss Francis? Have you been in pictures for more than ten years? Well, you might call it that, yes. That's a yes, too, Mr. Ustadoff. Well, I really don't know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> my goodness. Uh, are you in a, in a movie which is running at the moment? Well, I wish I was, Doc. <laughs> That's two down and eight to go, Miss no. Kilgallen. Are you in any form of entertainment that is running at the moment? <laughs> Nothing that's running at the moment, Ducks, but I wish I was. No, I don't, I don't want to mislead you. I think that we must give uh, the no answer there. No, we give the yes answer there, because our, our guest is presently appearing in the general area of entertainment. Mr. Sir. There is a yes. Uh, would the place you're appearing by any chance be on the television screen. Oh, I appear on television once in a while and other things, too. <laughs> Miss Francis? <laughs> Busy little soul, ain't she? <laughs> <laughs> Let, let's see now. Is it true that this voice that you're... <laughs> I must be... I must say are assuming... Uh, <laughs> is not the truth and you are really a lovely young girl? I hope so. I, I will answer the question for you, Miss Arlene. A lovely young girl indeed. Yes, Mr. Ustinov. Um, my goodness, I, I don't know at all. Seen any young um, girls lately? I, I can't see anything now at all. I mean, that's what I'm worried. <laughs> uh, you're American, are you? Yes. I wish I was from England, though. I just love it. <laughs> Miss Kilgallen? Uh, have you recently appeared in a New York Supper Club act at a hotel? Oh, I might one die. I just love to do supper acts, although I'm not very good at it. <laughs> That's a no answer. Three down and seven to go, Mr. Sir. Have you ever appeared on the stage under the direction of Mr. George Abbott? <laughs> John said you were a lovely young girl, but you have been in pictures for ten years. I'm not too young anymore, I'm afraid. <laughs> well, were you very young ten years ago when you started in pictures? I was pretty young at the time, but I'm older now. Oh, <laughs> old Happens to all of us. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Ustadoff. Oh. Um. Maybe it's Bonnie Prince Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that talking then? Was it Arlene? <laughs> <laughs> um. Do you, do you live on the coast more often or in, in New. Uh, or do you live on the coast? Oh, I travel here and there. I just go all over the country. Oh, actually, I'm sorry, but our, all of our time has run out, and I have to flip all the cards. This is so much fun, I hate to have to unmask you so that you can meet Miss Margaret O'Brien. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I must say, that was a lot of fun, Miss Margaret, and you tied them up in knots, too. I think Arlene was beginning to get some clues that Dorothy and Bennett and Peter would have picked up, but they didn't, and thanks so much Wonderful for being our be guest. Here. Wonderful Thank to you. have you with us and What's My Life. First enough, may I say how much pleasure it's been to have had you with us tonight. I hope you enjoyed your visit as we all enjoy your show. Thanks for coming. Until next week, this is John Daly saying good night, Miss Arlene. Good night, ducks. Good night. Hey. <laughs> good night, Peter. Thank you for being here. Good night, Bennett. Good night, you South African genius.
<laughs> well, thank you, Betty. This duck is very nice of you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for being with us on What's My Line? If you'd like to be a contestant, send a picture we can keep and your occupation to What's My Line? CBS Television, 485 Madison Avenue, New York, 22, New York. Transportation for contestants on What's My Line is arranged by American Airlines. What's My Line is a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production in association with the CBS Television Network. This is Hal Sims speaking. <laughs>